we have another excellent game of old school Magic the Gathering. We'll be looking at Serendib Jim, the Taxman, versus the, the Juzum Jin and the Dead Guy L deck. If you want to skip right to the match, you can click the timestamp in the description below. This match uh, was a game I played recently with the Northern Paladins. Uh, they have a kind of an additional uh, banned and restricted list, so Mind Twist and Library of Alexandria is banned, and you can only use one of the cards that you can see on screen here, so one Strip Mine, one Factory, and one Workshop. If you want to find information on the group and to play with the group, you can find that in the description below. So let's look at the first deck today, and that is the Tax Man. So, this is going to be focused around getting Serendib Jin to work. Uh, so Serendib Jin from Arabian Nights, it's uh, only 4 mana to cast for a 5-6 flyer. Uh, that is extremely powerful, one of the most powerful creatures in, in the old school format, but it does have a downside. You have to sacrifice a land during your upkeep. If that land is an island, it deals 3 damage to you. Now, one way that this player in the deck that we see today is trying to get around this uh, downside is land tax. So land tax crossing one white from the legend set. Uh, basically, during your upkeep, if your opponent controls more lands than you, search your library for three basic lands, reveal them, put them into your hand. So the players want to have land tax online and then pull out non-island lands to feed to the tax man. Uh, I've never really seen someone use this combo and try to pull it off, so very interesting to see if they can get it working. Of course, you do also see things like Land's Edge in this deck. Um, Land, Land's Edge is an enchant world card, uh, which means it applies to both uh, players. And any player can discard a land from their hand to do two damage to target opponent. So uh, this, this Taxman deck can play the typical Land Tax combo. Uh, if it wants to. Other than that, um, you know, pretty straightforward. The blue power, four counter spells. You see the chaos orb. Uh, we got the three moxes, a moat, uh, and, and some really traditional cards you expect to see in, in this color. And here we have the dead guy ale, white and black deck that we've seen on the channel before, and it's kind of a staple uh, in the format. Really wants to play our Juzum Jin, uh, a 5 5 from Arabian Nights. Uh, just put a lot of pressure on early. You could play out a Sarah Angel or a Hypnotic Spectre that has flying. Um, the deck puts out Underworld Dreams to do damage on the card draw. So lots of different threats coming at you, especially if it could get uh, all of its colored mana online and have a good ramp uh, in the opening hand. This version of the deck runs three Sinkholes and three Hymn to Torox as well uh, for some additional disruption, um, especially if you get the Sinkholes early in the match. With that, let's dive into the game. All right, the video is uh, starting up here. Another match of old school. Another match of old school. Um, so we're doing player me on the red mat using the classic Dead Guy Ale deck. Versus the Taxman deck, as this as this one's called. Really unique uh, deck. Really unique. Um, but let's see how it plays. And certainly Degayel can be a formidable foe. You're right off the bat. Factory. Okay. Right. Um, you always know yeah. that's gonna that's gonna be a big target for fifty. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like <laughs> Just gets it's almost sports. like you feel like you're wasting your time even putting it out. I know, I know. But every once in a while, it, it sticks. So that's the thing. You, yeah. But yeah, you can get it with the factory. Yeah. And there's and the a land, land tax. tax. Um, so if your opponent has more lands than you, uh, you'll be able to search through your library. Well, I just got disenchanted. Okay. But anyway. search through your <laughs> library, pull out three lands. It's very, very powerful. Um, it's. Heavily used card, especially in competitive play. Yeah, yeah. An ivory tower makes an appearance. Yeah. Um, now, actually, I, 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 I Ooh, yeah. to a gin. Okay, nice. Yeah. So I'll see wa watching this and then it's just a recall. Oh yeah. So we're just uh, flying, flying here, but yeah, it is. 
So he's got two lands. This guy's sitting, sitting. So now with Ivory Tower out as well. So during upkeep phase, you know, you gain one life for each card in your hand above four. So the Ancestral Recall might have bumped them up above four. That's a bit. That's a seven. That's for seven. Wow. That's a big hit. Yeah. This is one of the things where, yeah, when. Again, you're gonna have to deal with the with the gin at this point, but he's yeah. running he's running <clears throat> swords, he's He has answers. And there's there's a good one, Serendip Jin. Serendip yeah. So and cool again, to see. actually bigger bigger than the the Jusum Jin. It is. Five, oh yeah, six. you're right. As so well he as can being block a flyer. Him. Yeah. And now he's gonna he's gonna utilize that land tax. Well yeah, well yeah, well he was explaining just how that combination is going to yes, work with the yes, Serendip Jin. So, yes, yeah, so during upkeep for Serendip Jim, you have to sacrifice a land card. If it's an island, you take uh, three damage. But with land tax, you could search right, for any land card, so you'll always have land cards to feed to Serendip Jim. It's actually, I've never seen someone play this combo. Yeah, yeah I don't know you told me about it. I was like, wow, that actually sounds pretty creative. I, I don't know. I, I don't know why I've never thought of that combo with Serendip Jin. Yeah. I've just always wanted to make Serendip Jin work, and like, maybe this is it. So he yeah, sacrifices yeah. a plane and just plays out another one, and here he comes in the air. Five damage is a lot. And then and then he comes in with the Afrit. Yeah. Feeling like, all of a sudden, the dead guy all falling behind here um but well yeah because now he can keep his serendib gin behind right to block the yeah. jism gin yes oh uh, so he must have had the counter spell in hand and decided to play out the serendib of freedoms like instead um uh, right and it's, it's yeah i bet you he's uh probably retreat. regretting not putting that mox down yeah so sacrificing a planes and he's gonna come again now. I can't do anything about that. He could just win on this creature. Yeah. Count to eight. So he has eight flying damage on the board, right? Like this could for be next, it. next turn attack. Man, there's there's a, a freet and two gins on the board. This is a type of game yeah. we like to see. This is what we like to see, right? Like, yeah, really. A whole, just, Arabian Nights is just on display. Yeah. In yeah. all of its glory. Mm-hmm. So you're just gonna go in an attack. A double attack. Double attack. Kind of just going for broke here. Yeah, I think, um... I mean, that would drop him down to one life, I think, and then he would lose on the Serendip of Free, but he does block, uh, and that's, yeah, that, there was nothing else there. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Great game. Yeah, so... <laughs> that was really good. It's a, yeah, it's just quick. The big creatures come out, <clears throat> and that's yeah, that. I mean, uh, a 5-6 flyer for is... four mana is pretty insane. Yeah, and it's like, because usually people don't like the downside of it, but... Mm -hmm. And immediately off the off the bat with a... Oh, 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 oh. Judge. <laughs> Judge. Sloppy hands. <laughs> but yeah, it's a Sloppy. Qu a quick recall. Which sometimes in that case, like early extent, it's like, does the player not have anything to, to play and just wants to card draw? Like, that's a pretty... Yeah. Or, you know, or it could just be, you know... You're cautious of, of being mind twisted, right? But mm -hmm. I think at this point, you know, he's not playing with. Well, at least I don't think he's playing with mind twist. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know when I was playing, but yeah, I've only seen blue white so far. <clears throat> yeah. So he's gonna tutor for yeah. something. Oh, and I'm sorry. I should say this was uh, in the Northern Paladins format, and mind twist is, is not allowed. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. Okay, but that is okay. a good point. Always to be aware of mind twist. I don't know when this video will go on YouTube, but recently went to the Lobster Con event in Boston and was mind twisted more than once. So yeah, it hurts. It, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So a lotus. He's gonna try it again. He's gonna try the lotus into the hippie. Let's see if it sticks. 
Ooh. And just a, a landmark, uh, a freet, and there goes there goes that hippie. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh, there you go. So he's gonna okay. gain three life out of that. Gains three life. He's gonna take two. So, oh, wow. And there's a big discard on the hypnotic specter. Wow. That's as, someone who is, as someone who is used to getting hit with Hypnotic Spectre and discarding, I know the pain. Do you? I very, very much do. Uh, <laughs> it's a little, little pump night, you know, coming out to do, do our it's thing. It's a good combo. He does have another Efreet. Another Efreet. And now, look at that. One Ooh. of the swords. So just doing a really good job of just kind of managing the field, keeping it open for your... Yeah, and there's a him to, tor him to oh. Torok. Ooh, Ooh, so there was a counter spell on the swords all getting... Including a land's edge. Yeah, so that's still when Yeah, you have three in hand, and you... Uh, him to Torok, and then the hippie could get in, too, there. So you had to do three, and here just, just comes... Discarding three. Wow. This is looking pretty bad for him now. Yeah. And that, again, it's... When the dead guy L deck every turn can do something and has that rhythm, it's very fun to play. It's very powerful. It's yeah, really hard to slow down. Yeah, like if you fall behind, it's just too many threats. So he's explaining. I guess you were. I was pumping, probably activating. I yeah, you were yeah. pumping. Pump. Pump night was being pumped. Pump. <laughs> pump night was doing what pump night does. Uh, so land tax. Um, land, yeah. Um, on on was active here he played one out so he's again it thins your deck you pull out mm -hmm. lands really great card it's really really good uh but I'm, I'm feeling i'm feeling a game three here uh that's what it's looking like right now yeah yeah and it is gonna be a game the three. the the discarding and the him to tarik sometimes are just brutal yeah yeah it's a really rough combination but i throwing out Oh, no, two. Yeah, so this is this well, is okay. So that's oh wow. So he, Lotus is Lotus is into two land taxes. He's gonna take yeah. the, take a damage from the mana burn on the one uns, unspent mana. Okay, right now this put now what would you do in this situation? Now again, like ideally you'd like to have a mox to get around it. But if I if you play a land here now, he has two active land yeah. taxes. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, I mean you're gonna have to play a land. Wow. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you'd really. <sighs> I've never was... actually seen a, a a double land tax play on a turn one. Yeah, I, I, I remember really cool. it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I remember at this moment thinking I've lost the game. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, because because uh, yeah. what's gonna happen now? It's like I have to play out this factory. You have um, to. You have to. Wow, oh, that's super neat. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah. It's um, like yeah, three. Th th yeah. So so the, yeah. The question is, he could activate. He could do three and three. So he could pull out six. He could pull out two and two. Three and zero. Like he gets to choose. Right. Uh, yeah. So this is tough because I put out another land, then these double land tax again. Um, yeah. And it, it was just and land tax does not count as card draw uh so it wouldn't it, the underworld dreams doesn't hurt it um which is a weird little little magic well yeah because yeah, yeah i mean it's you're, you're not technically drawing you're right? searching and you're removing, searching and you're putting cards into your hand yeah. right right so yeah technically it's not a draw now i could see back in like 1994 and people didn't know the rules like i would argue with someone i'm like you're drawing the yeah, cards yeah, yeah i would have been like and like no you're putting them into my hand yes that's drawing i'm not the drawing i'm searching and taking yeah, them out of yeah. the library very right. different from a draw yeah um so every turn i'm dropping another lands and it's just painful yeah. um Whew. man yeah yeah, we'll see if he can capitalize. Uh, Serendip Jin. Serendip Freed, I mean, out. Really solid card. It's going to come in. I don't know. Oh, Ooh, yeah, there's 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 the big one. Yeah, I don't I don't know what Dead Guy Ale wants to do at this point. I, th I think there's a balance in there. 
I think I guess. that guy L wants to go home. Yeah. <laughs> He's ready for the golf course. I think the guy L's uh, done. Yeah, this is not looking great. No. Now, <clears throat> a strip mine on the planes means he does have to sacrifice an island to do three damage. Yeah. Uh, potential weakness there of the gin. Then he takes a damage on Underworld. I think at this point, actually, the only win condition, and land tax online again, I think the only win condition left for Dagael is like a time twister, which activates Time twister, a wheel of fortune, yeah. Yes, yeah, because he's at, uh, he's at 12. He's at 12. Uh, I mean, that's like your miracle top deck, I suppose. Right, right, right. Oof, that's a big attack. Man, that hurts. Yeah. He's going to throw an ivory. Tower out. Which is really... And he's going to discard, so he's at seven. So the ivory tower here really puts the game pretty much out of reach. I mean, now he is going to... He has seven in hand, so he's going to gain life. He's going to be gaining life, yeah. So even if so he's going to take damage from that Serendip Jin. Right, so even if you were to do a Wheel of Fortune here, um, mm -hmm. he wouldn't die, and he'd be at 7, and he would life gain. Yeah. So this is a really tough spot. This is rough. Yeah. Degayel, not used to this. Not used to getting whacked like this. No, I was just... I will say it's really cool. Yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a big big fan of this uh, of this deck. Tax man. Yeah, this is really neat, really neat. I like it a lot. So I do want to challenge this player to a re uh, to another game. I want to see this deck in action some more. Yeah, absolutely. I think we should. I think it's worthy of a second video. Yeah. And now he just gains a bunch to Ivory Tower. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just because yeah he um. He just drew on his up, uh, upkeep a bunch of cards from land tax, and then Ivory Tower hits, so he gained, and, like, yeah. nine life. Yeah. Shoo. And then land's edge, and that's pretty much it. Look at his hands. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of just puts it all down and goes, okay, we done? <laughs> so this will be unfortunate before the video ends to see what was in the, the hand of the Dead Guy L player. Uh, will mm. be a little painful to see here. Oh. With no blue mana sources. Oh. You hate to see it. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. I mean, you like to see the the tax man win. He came, yeah, collected his was, taxes. <laughs> tax tax man always collects the taxes. He always collects his taxes. So best thing the dead guy ale. I, I'd like to see a rematch of that. But that was that I had was a lot really of fun good. playing that one. Yeah, yeah, that was excellent. That was really good.